All right, so this is a quick follow-up on yesterday's video. If you guys have been following along that rail right there, um, I've been having leaking issues, and it's really been <laughs> driving me crazy. So, proud to report that I fixed it last night. I'm going to show you exactly what I did. So, you guys saw the video about how I sealed the front end of it. Um, so Taxus sent me this gasket and it just wasn't clear on like there was no instructions just like hey just put that gasket in there it'll fix should fix the problem um, there's actually another one but it's hidden on the inside and I might trim this one but I kind of it kind of like it a little longer so I'd rather have it that way so let's see what it does on the inside now so it wasn't just So it wasn't just a gasket that fixed this, it was a combination of what I think is a couple things. So you can see there's a gasket here. See it's a little wet on the on the inside. But what I also did was I took that uh, adhesive and what I did was, you can't see it, or you maybe be able to just see it. I took tiny little pieces and there was a split on this end cap of the, uh, the roof panel and you could you could feel it when you put your hand in there <clears throat> so I took some of the adhesive uh, sealant and I pushed it into that thing I didn't use a lot of it just because I didn't want to interfere with the portion of the hinge that moved and actually you could see the the gasket material there and then I I uh, put this right up on top of the door and you can see it, it fits in there pretty nice too. And then the top piece is here. And that uh, stays on the inside of the trim. And then I did the same thing right up here. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not do anything on the top part because I wanted to make sure if it was the, uh, the top or the bottom that was leaking. And the top is not leaking at all. So I'm probably still going to put a little something in there because I don't like how that gasket flops around. But... For right now it works um and that's it yeah really soaked that this is now fixed i could just start enjoying it um so here's the other side this is what the gasket material looks like put it up against that it's roughly inch and three quarters this way and then you can see it's maybe about a quarter inch that way so as you can see in my box I have a ton of it if you have a taxa and you're experiencing leaking problems you only need about three feet of this to fix it uh, send me a message uh, through YouTube or you can send me a message on Instagram at fishing lab and uh, I will send you some of this I want to pay it forward for all those people that are having leaking problems so again there it is fix it nice and easy too hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit that subscribe button uh, we're just gonna keep, keep continue making now hopefully fun camping videos have a great day all right quick update you can see the water just streaming on the ground and then we are dry inside the tire ball finally fixed super excited no water coming in and it is absolutely pouring.